Hello, if you're here, you're probably looking for a simple way to reverse your Streamlabs chat. So instead of going bottom to top, like it is here, it'll go top to bottom, like it does here. So when I post a new comment, it shows up at the top, goes to the bottom and it animates in pretty nicely as well. When I'm done, I'll show you how I switch between two different chats, depending on my layout. And I'll also show you how to do a little fade on the top or the bottom as well. Um, if you've Googled this, you probably found some Reddit posts to give you little snippets of code and tells you where to put it and things like that. But it's all pretty complicated if you don't know anything about CSS like me. So I'm going to put everything you need in the description below. It should be very easy. You can do this in just a couple minutes. The first thing you want to do is click the link in the description. It'll take you to a Reddit page where I've included the full code. It should look something like this. Just go there, select everything and copy it. Go to your Streamlabs chat widget page. These are the settings I have by default. Click Enable Custom HTML and CSS. Click the CSS tab, delete everything that's there, and post the code that I gave you. And that's it, your chat is now reversed. There are a couple things that you'll want to change from my code, most likely. I'm on Mac, so I have Helvetica built in by default. If you're on Windows, which you probably are, you don't have that. So you're going to want to change the font here in line number one and here in line number 12. Anything in the Google font family will work. So if you search that, you'll find a list of Google fonts. Open Sans is very similar to Helvetica, so is Roboto. Roboto is the font that Twitch uses on their website and their chat, so if you're trying to match that, that's the one to go with. Just swap out the name in those two locations and it'll be all good to go. Uh, you can also change the font weight, the color, the size here. Um, this set of coordinates here is the drop shadow in both directions. You can also change the way that it animates in. I have it so that when you post it, kind of animates in over a couple frames from the top. I think that makes the most sense when your chat's reverse, but if you don't want that for whatever reason, you can change it with this code here. Instead of it being fade in down, you can have something like fade in up, fade in left, or fade in right. Just by playing around with these settings, you can probably figure out a lot on your own. I also want to show you a trick for having two differently oriented chats on the same account at the same time, the way that I do. I have this chat here where the new comments show up at the top and move towards the bottom. But when I'm not in this position, I flip it so new comments now show up at the edge on the bottom and move towards the top. I find this is really useful for scenes like this where you might be playing a game or something, but then if you want to go to full screen, it wouldn't make much sense for your chat to be kind of cut off at the top, hanging down towards nothing. So to make it look slick in every orientation, I make it flip automatically. I think it looks really good. You might think it's a little disorienting for viewers, but it's really not that bad. Everyone gets used to it pretty quick. I have the move transition installed which is why I have these smooth animations between everything. But if you don't have that, I still think it looks better, even if you're just fading between the two. The way that I accomplish this is actually pretty simple. I'm using two different chats from two different websites at the same time. When you see this chat here, it's the custom one we just made in Streamlabs a few minutes ago. But when we have this other orientation, it's actually made in Stream Elements. If you don't know about Stream Elements, it's a site a lot like Streamlabs, but you can create full overlays using one browser source. But if you've never used it before, you don't have to worry about any of that. We're just going to use it to make the chat. So click the Stream Elements link in the description, log in with your Twitch or YouTube, then you're going to click on Streaming Tools, My Overlays. Click New Overlay, it should look like this. Add Widget, Stream Tools, Your Stream Chat. You can click on the box to go into the settings there. If you want, you can pull the sizing information from the other browser source for your other chat so that it's the same, and then you can have the same font as well that you have on Streamlabs. Save that, grab the browser source, put it into OBS, and you're all set. You have two functioning chats, one that's upside down and one that's right side up. They both work at the same time. You can flip between them from one scene to the other, and the viewers will never know the difference. Lastly, I just want to show you how I do this gradual fade on both versions of my chat. It's pretty simple, you probably already know how to do it, but just in case you're new, I'm going to go through it anyway. We're going to accomplish this using filters and image masking. In the description, I have a link to two images. It looks something like this, one that is white at the top, fading to black, and one that's the exact reverse. If you don't know how image masking works, anything that is white shows up at 100% opacity, anything that's black shows up at 0% opacity, and everything in between. So save both of those images to your computer, and then in OBS, click the chat layer, click filters, add an image mask blend, click on that, browse, and just select the image where the chat fades in the appropriate direction. Then in the other orientation, do the exact same thing, except this time select the image where the chat fades the other way. And that's it. Your chat now smoothly fades in either direction no matter what orientation you're in. 
All right, that's that. I hope this was useful for a few people. I know I could use it last week when I was trying to figure out all this on my own. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, all that usual stuff, and good luck. Bye.